The Washington Monument is one of the most well-known monuments in the country, but while the monument itself may be well-known, there's a lot more to this obelisk than meets the eye. Today we take a look at the secrets of the Washington Monument. Starting off with one of the more visually striking details of the monument, its shape. The Washington Monument is built in the shape of an ancient Egyptian obelisk. The original design called for a slightly taller centerpiece at 600 feet versus the final 555 and for 30 columns each 100 feet tall to circle the base of the monument. This design was created by Robert Mills in response to a decade-long search by the Washington National Monument Society for something to honor the former president that would be unparalleled in the world. While the project was far from fully funded, construction began in 1848. The cornerstone, laid on July 4th of that year, is actually an impressive time capsule. In it is a Bible presented by the Bible Society, representing George Washington's faith. Other items placed in the recess of stone include copies of the U.S. Constitution and Declaration of Independence, several depictions of the design of the monument itself, several important books, and the 1840 U.S. Census. In total, more than 20 different items were placed in the cornerstone of the Washington Monument, where they remain to this day. The monument reached a height of 156 feet, over a quarter of the way done, when a change in leadership at the Washington National Monument Society led to many substantial donors abandoning the project. While attempts to restart the construction with federal funding were made, the nation was focused on bigger problems at the time, specifically the Civil War. But finally, after sitting dormant for over two decades, construction finally resumed on the monument to the first president, with funding from Congress and construction led by U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. This decades-long halt in the project is what causes the different colors seen on the outside of the monument today. Finally, almost four decades from the laying of the cornerstone, the Washington Monument was dedicated on February 21, 1885, and opened to the public for the first time in 1886. The original steam-driven elevator used during construction was replaced with an electric one in 1901. Finally, in 1933, the Washington Monument became a unit of the National Park Service. At the time it was completed, the Washington Monument held the record for tallest structure in the world. While it was beaten by the Eiffel Tower just five years later, to this day it still holds the record for tallest all-stone structure in the world. Hopefully this video helped you learn a bit more about this monument to America's first president. While it may not be as exciting as to hunt for a national treasure, the Washington Monument's history is interesting in its own way. Thank you for watching RIC Adventures, and we'll see you next time.